What's up guys, it's Murdermani back with another video, aka TLL, and today I'm going to be playing Mario Kart Wii. So as you can see, I'm using my me, Tiana, even though my name is not Tiana. There's actually a story behind why I named her Tiana, because me, my brother, and my sister, while we play video games, we also talk about us making a movie or making our own video games about these characters who went into the Mario world and now they cart. Guys, this this thing is really interesting, guys. And like I just feel like it's very entertaining that we make our own storylines or plots to like other Mario games and like if we was to tell it to like Nintendo, Nintendo would absolutely be staring at us like but this isn't you guys work. <laughs> right. Dang guys, like it's kinda been a little while since I played this game because my younger sister, she wanted this game for her birthday and she wasn't even satisfied with the game. Me and my siblings, we actually liked this game, but then the game broke. So now I have to use Dolphin. And the worst part of that and the worst part of, about Dolphin is when it starts to lag. And I, and I know you guys know what I'm talking about if you guys are also a Dolphin user. With Dolphin, it starts to lag. It's hard to connect the joystick. Sometimes the sensor bar, it doesn't... Sometimes the sensor bar, it doesn't work. So now it's like... Uh, Dolphin sure is... Sure is something. So, like... I want to know... What are you guys' favorite Mario Karts? My favorite Mario Kart is Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 7. Those ones, it just feel like you work all by yourself. Like, you play the game, like, more manually. And also, I don't really like Mario Kart 8. Because if this is a Mario Kart, why are you adding in characters who don't even belong in Mario games like Isabelle and Link? They have nothing to do with Mario. Please leave Mario games to themselves. Didn't you guys like Mario Kart Wii? Mario Kart Wii was so GOAT. They literally had everybody in there. They had... Didn't they have Dry Bones up in there? Because they had Dry Bowser. They had Funky Kong. And, dude, like that game... It's like when you would play online for Mario Kart Wii, everybody would show up with the Funky Kong. Man. Alright guys, so right now I'm just trying to fill in my profile, because when I'm on Dolphin, I have to make a new profile. So, yeah. Now, about liking... Now, about liking, like, the consoles from Nintendo. I just feel like the older consoles on Nintendo, they are way better. When I mean by the older consoles, I mean the Wii, the 3DS... And, you know, like those older ones in the DS, the, um, and the Nintendo 64, the Wii U. But then, as we start to get to the Switch, you're looking at every game, and every game is a remake. Literally. The Wii, the Wii literally do. Like, the Wii, that system right there is powerful. Literally. The Wii had Super Mario Galaxy 2 and all that. I I I just feel like as years pass, I shouldn't say Nintendo was getting lazy, but it's feeling like they're starting to lose their interest for Mario games. It's I mean I mean they did just come out with Paper Mario, but it's kinda like the other Paper Marios, if you ask me. I mean, they're not that similar, but it's like I'm playing another Paper Mario. And I just feel like all Nintendo's plots or storylines, it's always still the same. Bowser takes Peach. Mario has to come and save Peach. It's like, guys, really? Yes, those games are so goat and lit and still good. But can you guys at least come up with a nor now with another storyline? Trust me. We all still like the storyline about where Bowser takes Peach, but it feels like Nintendo, the workers over there, like, the people who come up to make the game, it looks like 
they're not starting to like their own storyline because that's why it just looks like they're starting not to put in time to the Mario games like they're fine with just putting in remakes now a thing would actually okay now what Nintendo did to actually make a disrespect out of Mario games Ooh, oh Okay, now I think we'll actually start to make a, a, now a disrespect to Mario games. The Mario Party series, literally. If you look at Mario Party 10, what the hell is that? What game are we playing there? That game is so boring. My favorite Mario Party was the one on the Wii. Mario Party 8. That's a goat. Man. Alrighty guys, I'm back in it. I'm playing Mushroom Gorge. This is my favorite Mario Kart course out of all the Mario Karts. Literally. I mean, I do like Rosalina's Ice World off of Mario Kart 7 on the 3DS. But Mushroom Gorge, it's really like too classic. It's just, when people think of Mario Kart, they can actually remember this place. I guess they can actually remember Rainbow Road, too, because people can easily fly off the course and die. But usually, off of Mario Kart, I usually play as, um, Rosalina. So... Man, Mario Kart is actually that classic. Now, back to what I was talking about, when you look at the Switch... Um, okay, yeah, no, when you look at the Switch games, all the Mario games remakes, but they're still making new games for other games, like other Nintendo games. Um, I know that there are some out there, but, like, The Legend of Zelda, like, they just came out with another one of Hyrule Warriors, and then, um, they also just came out with, an with Animal Crossing. Speaking of Animal Crossing, what do you guys do in Animal Crossing? Because whenever you just look at the game, I'm just like, people my age are seriously, like, addicted to this game. My younger sisters are, they love that game. And the only thing that I really see, see them doing is swimming, planting trees, and talking to Cat or, or Teddy or somebody. What do you actually do in that game? I'm not sure, but man, I remember whenever, like, when when I was like more younger, me and my siblings, we actually thought Baby Mario and Baby Peach was Mario and Peach kids. So like, we used to play games that like Baby Mario and Baby Peach was Mario and Peach kids, and they were bad. Dang, dude, I died. Yeah, but then as we started to, you know, do more research into Nintendo, we just figured out that those are just the baby versions of Mario and Peach. And guys, I truly don't like that, but hey, it is what it is, and it's fine. As long as we take the dub, and we're going on to our final four, and to our final course at Toad Factory. To be honest, guys. The Switch. The Switch is really fun because Smash Bros. The rest of the games on the Switch, they're just remakes. It's like, people are paying $60 for each game. For remakes? We're, so we're paying... So, so you guys Switch bill is going to be over flooding to be playing remakes? I'm not sure how much Donkey Kong Country Returns they put, but they made a lot of that same game. The Wii, the 3DS, the Wii U, and the Switch. Literally, that same game on literally majority of the systems. My two favorite franchises on, um, sorry, now in Nintendo is Mario and Donkey Kong. To me, they are the most classic and the most beautifulest games to me i mean i just like the way how like the storylines they're kind of simple but that's what i like about it but then whenever you start to constantly play the games you kind of want a different storyline but it's like a 
I mean, the games are still good with a simple storyline, but you do want another storyline, but the games are still good, though. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> now, here's also another thing. Mr. Bean 3500VR, he made his own custom tracks on Mario Kart Wii because he loved Mario Kart and he loved the Wii that bad. That's you know, people never want to leave the old systems. Like, literally, they put in some work. And that's what I like, like, you don't want to leave something, so you add into it to make you keep playing. I don't, but I don't know why, but he added, like, over 200-something courses. You guys can look it up to get it. Um, it is, um... I don't think it's that long of a process to, to get the custom tracks, but you really just have to pay attention whenever getting it. He also has a Twitch and a YouTube channel, so you guys can go check that out as well. Shot is coming over. Now, it's crazy because I made a really good storyline, or like, yeah, like, um, I made a really good storyline about a Mario, um, now, I made, like, a really good story about Mario and them, and I would want to tell you guys what it's about, because it's pretty good, but I have to like, get my subscribers up for that, guys, because I'm not, guys, really. It would be nice to tell it at 100 subscribers, but I want to be telling it to at least a couple of people to get the idea out. Alrighty. That's the tournament. Alright guys, and we're about to go to our ceremony. Man, don't you guys remember the ceremony? This ceremony part is so beautiful. Wow. Actually, no, when you actually look at like the nowadays Mario games, Mario, he actually looks a little he now he actually looks a little more updated than he was from back then. The look of Yoshi. Off they go to the Medal Awards. Wow. This game is really actually a classic guys, like whenever Nintendo made the Wii games, like they was actually putting in hardcore work. Okay. And stars. Alright, well, thanks guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and get notified for my next videos, because I will be talking, and even, um, yeah, because I will be talking in other one of my videos, so don't forget to subscribe, have fun.